Book 1, Unit 6, Describing a Sin Unit 6, Describing a Sin Unit Objectives Students will be able to Ask and answer questions using ING verb forms Use A, N, some correctly in the sentences Write sentences with prepositions of place Build sentences with there is there are. Describing a scene using is or are with ing verbs. Join sentences using ing verb forms. Use capital letters and punctuation marks correctly. Write a paragraph about a scene. Correct the written work. Spell correctly, especially verbs ending in ing, words ending in L E etc. Asking and answering yes no questions using ing verb forms. When we describe what is happening now, we use am, is, are with the ing form of the verb. It says something is happening now at this moment, right now. This structure shows how to make a sentence with ing verb forms. First we have to put the subject and according to the subject we choose am or is or are. After that we use the verb, the basic form of the verb but it should be with ing. And after that you can put the information about what or where. Then finally the question mark. Here it should not be a full stop. It is wrong. As it is a question we have to put question mark. This example shows that this is a picture of a boy and he is doing something. Picture, we understand that he is reading a book. We see here, example Ahmed. It is a singular number and we have to choose is. Ahmed is, then after the main verb is read, but it should be with ing, reading. For this information we can say, that is a book, and where, in his room. Sentence is Ahmed is reading a book in his room. In the second picture we see there are some boys and they are busy playing football. So the sentence is the students are playing football in the field and it says something is happening now. To ask yes no question put am, is or are before the subject. So we have two sentences here and we have to replace am or is or are and put them before the subject. This is will be here and this are will be here to make a yes no question. Let us see question number A. Is Ahmed reading a book in his room? The answer yes he is. We see he is reading a book. Sentence number B. As we said, the B verb R should be before the subject. And here it is. Are the students playing football in the field? We didn't change anything except the verb R. We just put the B verb R before the subject. Are the students playing football in the field? Yes they are. So this way we can ask question and answer yes no questions. Now we will learn about asking and answering WH questions using ING verb forms. To ask WH questions put WH question word before am or is or are and before the subject. So here are the words WH question words like what, where, which, who, whose, etc. And now we will see how we can use WH question words with ING verb forms to make a question. This structure shows at first we have to put WH question word. Then according to the subject we have to choose M or is or are. Then the verb 
the basic form of the verb should be ing and finally the question mark the punctuation here we can say instead of full stop we have to put question mark as it is a question now there is a picture and you can see someone is busy reading book think that he is Ahmed for an, for an example so what is he doing we say Ahmed is reading a book in his room according to the structure we have to make the question putting the WH word first what then be verb am or is or are according to the subject Ahmed is a third person singular number so we have to put is before the subject Ahmed what is Ahmed reading in his room the answer is a book we can ask question with another word like where to get information where is Ahmed reading a book so for this question word we can find the answer in his room so we have to remember when we are going to ask WH question we have to select the word like what where which who why whose who etc then put am or is or are then subject then the verb with ing and finally the question mark there is another picture and we see some boys are playing football sentence number B the students are playing football in the field this is the situation and it is describing what is happening now and we have to make a WH question following this structure first the WH word what then the be verb like am is or are according to the subject the students here we see is a plural number in third person so they need be verb like are so what are the students playing in the field first the WH word then the be verb then the subject and the verb with ing and if you have additional answer or information about what or where or how you can put it here and finally the question mark so the question is what are the students playing in the field the same sentence we are going to ask in a different way using where where are the students playing football now we ask the question with where and we don't have to put the information in the field because we are asking the question to know the information where so if we give the information and the question what the same then it's not going to be a question we have to be careful when we use the question word then in the question we should avoid the words that is going to give the answer for that question where are the students playing football in the field then we got the answer and the question word where the same like where and the answer is in the field both are present in the sentence so when we are going to ask the question we should remove these words these words for where where are the students playing football will be a question and we got the answer in the field if we give these words in this in the question then it's not going to be a proper question we have to be careful making a question with WH word identifying ing forms of the verbs in the sentences activity one read the paragraph and underline the ing forms of the verbs so this is a paragraph and you have to find the ing verb forms 
we should be careful there are many words with ing but actually they are not the main verb or the base form of the verb with ing it can be a simply it can be a simply noun or any other thing any other parts of a speech for example here we can see it's six o'clock in the evening and students might be confused because this word has ing at the end but we we should be careful that evening is simply a word it is mentioning the time of a day it's a noun in the second sentence everyone is busy in the market ali is standing so stand is the base form of the verb and it is with ing standing so if we have to find or underline the verbs with ing forms then this is the one standing also here we can find the standing he is weighing in front of the stall there are a man and a boy the man is talking talk talking then this is hold and holding try trying at the corner of the market there are some palm trees some people are sitting the base form of the verb sit and when we make it ing the consonant is doubled and we say sitting so this is the ing form of the verb next to the trees some people are unloading unload then unloading is the ing verb some people are unloading some boxes from the truck so these are the ing verbs in this paragraph